Yeah, so let's see how this ends up playing out. Vem Tenkila already going to be just quickly picking up the hammer and Lopez as well. Just starting off with the hammer ditto. My goodness. Okay. Just going to be looking for all these different D-lights because he gets so much off of D-light just jumping at each other's faces. And I actually have to bring this up too. These players have never faced each other at all. Like in tournament, they have never have faced each other. And we got Lopez known for the Tesca. You got Vem Tenkila known for the Bodvar. So you're going to be seeing a lot of you know hammer from them and we have lopez going that taros there and trying to show what that's made of with the hammer and the axe and we're seeing a lot of mecha taros tonight though i do gotta say that i'm already loving a lot of m10 killers movement with the sentinel here right? like the way especially with guitars on hand the way that he's just been able to dash around the way that he's been able to chase lopez i mean it's all really really intimidating you drop down there you go with the down L, and then you opponent's GC option actually ends up getting stuffed out by a GC stomp into a side That was crazy. And now all of a sudden, Vem 10 Kilo has a gentle lead. Yeah, this is going to be interesting too, because I think we're going to now see Vem going to these highlights here. Go a little bit back and forth. Lopez missing that down signature. But the movement from these players is very precise. You know, this is a match we would usually see in top eight. But so far, it's close, and Vem's guitars are going crazy on Lopez, and Lopez is already in the orange. That's right, you get put into the guitars, planning the downers, and the D-Lights galore, and you wanted to get a GC D-Light. Vem 10 Kilo going back onto the stage, just pressing a D-Sig. It felt like Lopez could have gotten a slightly bigger punish on that, but that is okay. Vem 10 Kilo completely whiffing an N-Sig in front of Lopez's face, and thus we get that kind of a punish exactly as needed but at the moment the, again this damage differential between the two is pretty crazy especially with hammer on hand you need a side out oh. i can see the future oh. uh and all of a sudden look at the lead that you have yeah now we got you know them going crazy and it all came down to that guitar loop that it got lopez on silent downlights true read the dodge that neutral air very nice job now you're seeing Lopez trying to use these neutral air options. Vem's trying to bait them into doing different things. The Sentinel neutral signature is also very powerful, launching Lopez into the orange. You know, they're staying even right now, and that's what Vem really wants, considering the fact that, you know, Lopez is on their final stock. Hey, Lopez, now, uh, again, why do Hammer players love jump side as a way to get back on? I have seen everybody that went through that option with Hammer today get punished. Uh, right now, though, Lopez, how do you actually make it back from this? Ooh. I don't think that you can at all. What a side sig from the Sentinel, from Vem 10 Kilo. Just taking out that game one with, I mean, that was, that was all Vem 10 Kilo. Yeah, and Vem's definitely representing SIB very, very well tonight with how he's playing overall against Lopez with the uh, Sentinel and I mean, his guitars are doing a lot of damage and you brought up also a point as well earlier regarding Hammer Cider when they try to come back to ledge. It does cover a lot of range, but if you whiff that, you get punished really hard. So a lot of players like to yeah. think it's like, okay, let's go in for it, yay! And then you see it just, Lopez come in. I've seen it, the risk versus reward doesn't feel worth it, right? Because it's like one of the most exploitable moves that Hammer has because of how much startup frames it has, like you have time to react to it and then you can just jump over it and then be able to punish it. And so like, I get it like as like a tool to get back onto the stage, but it just, it just feels so risky sometimes. Yeah, and I think now it's definitely a risky one too, and I, I definitely agree with you, but we actually, Lopez is on the Diana, which is confusing me a little bit, maybe for the bow option. But I love bow. Bow, yeah, bow is definitely a, a, a pretty a good option. We've been seeing a lot of players choose, but I think like we've been seeing players choose Kaya, primarily for the spear, but also we do have that bow as a secondary. But then, I mean, showing that, hey, I don't need a meta character. I can just go in with Sentinel with, with hammer and, and guitars and just throw Lopez around like a like a volleyball or like a pinata at this rate. Yeah, Vem's movement prowess here is, is honestly pretty incredible. Just able to quite literally dance around Lopez. Lopez just looking for any way to be able to pick up this weapon. The new trailer has a bit of a get off me option. Now also going to be picking up the bow here, sidelight. You're dashing in. You're not going through the chase dodge after. Typically you want to go for like a chase dodge cross up sidelight, but that's going to be okay. That's going to be the stock. That's the spike. And now Lopez... Uh, gonna be sticking to the blasters for this next stock onto Vem 10 Kilo. You're looking for a D-Light, you're looking for a downer. How do you, how do you get it started? I don't know, I think it comes down to really having that center neutral control of the platform too, and Vem starting to go ahead and say, hey, you know, once you get it, I'm just gonna go for a dare option or a jump side air. 
Jump Stutter comes in, swaps over the guitars. Now wanting that neutral control. Actually goes in for a recovery. Saying, you know what? Maybe I could do some damage to Lopez with some recovery in the air. And then go, then go for a side light, down light recovery. Doesn't really get that side light, down light option like he wants to, but he does nice. go and get that guitar neutral signature to knock Lopez in that final stock. Vem's movement, again, I just want to keep talking about, he is so slippery. Lopez is really struggling to get any hits that are not just, you know, a, an occasional neutral light, an occasional neutral light. You get the side light, but again, no capitalization, no like 50-50 there. Lopez just keeps on dashing back after hitting side light, opting to play it maybe a little too safe. Oh my gosh, yep, that's the Anna Ensig. That thing, oof, the, the knockback that that has, crazy. Yeah, we're kind of seeing some stuff go back and forth now with them now coming in with this guitar which is up his entire stock over lopez lopez is not having the ability to touch in the ground properly like they need to as soon as they do though they land that neutral signature knockout making things one stock all but lopez is just having such a rough time against them to kill those guitars and Vemjin Kilo is just not letting go of Lopez. That's the D-Light into the side. He's dashing off with the D-Light. And the pressure does not stop. Lopez begging for any space whatsoever. Gets the D-Light into the side light. But then that Ooh, approach. Yeah. Vemjin Kilo is so aggressive. Vemjin Kilo, this entire set, has been holding forward. Dashed in. Side light, D-Light, side hood. Wow. One thing I do got to bring up, though, is once, you know, we saw them come in. And he just went crazy with his guitars. And... He did very, very well. And towards that final stock too, he swapped the hammer because it's probably the best range option of countering blasters, right? Because blasters have so much range and you don't want to approach them the wrong way where you get downlighted or neutral lighted um, yep. going against them. So Ven was very smart sticking with that hammer, seeing a downlight neutral light, and then coming in with a side light stomp cider. And that has a, a couple different recovery frames that you can go through dodging wise, but it's very hard to land. And there's a reason why them went absolutely crazy that game and, and props to them he's up to over lopez lopez being that one player that was you know very highly respected when he came back and and he's still doing crazy but now he's coming in and them coming in now and going crazy on lopez lighting off with that end light as well them 10 kilo uh, just, yeah, once again, getting all the way up in Lopez's face. Lopez opting for the Bugasa crossover. So, you know, just wants to stick to these blasters today. Yeah, and, and we're kind of seeing, you know, them. I mean, you're seeing realistically Lopez trying to do something uh, with them to Kilo. And I think going in with that Barraza pick is definitely an option. Uh, the blasters, I think Lopez is liking blasters a lot, but I think they're trying that axe out a little bit, but they may not know the signature set very like crazy compared to other characters. I don't think Lopez doesn't have a lot of, like, they don't, they don't think they've played, uh, you know, with that Barraza pick ever when it comes down to majors. We don't see them have it reported at all. And it's kind of a surprise for them. I think them is getting caught off guard by it right now. Look how he's playing. The downlight comes in. Nice job by Lopez. And it's yeah, certainly not out, enough like, to be able to KO quite yet. Vem gets back onto stage with that jump side. Early. The end light does come out though, and that's going to be more than enough. Lopez finally with the uh, with the lead. Yeah, and and I think like you're seeing Lopez kind of throw Vem to Kilo off, and these guys spar a lot too. You know, I, I'm sure these guys have sparred a lot. It's a lot of South America like top players spar against each other so much. But I think Lopez bringing this mixed bag against Vem might be the option that he needs but those yeah. blasters are not working out i think lopez is like you know what i'm gonna play blasters until i get knocked out then i spawn in with a new weapon spawn with another axe and i get to do some more damage build up and i think that was yeah, the, the main goal seems to be doing a lot more food lopez this time around right? especially with the yeah. amount of end lights that we're connecting it was just doing a lot of work just like that yeah we're seeing a lot of those them's coming into the true combos or guitars gets the recovery oh and lopez punishes that ground pound on the on the, on the map there and it's a double side air onto Lopez and gets a neutral signature as well. Okay. Oh. It's just gonna be oh. eating that end like that 10 kilo. How do you make it back off of the stage here? You just jump right on, you eat another axe uh, end light, but it's okay because you got all your jumps back. Jumping side air once again, getting a little bit of space oh. for himself, eating a side air of his own. Lopez with the weapon toss doesn't actually end up connecting though, picking up the blasters instead. D light mm -hmm. into the recovery is gonna be able to do it. I'm kind of surprised because Lopez is kind of starving him from picking up the axe next stock. I think Lopez is like, okay, I'm going to stick on this stock for a little bit to do some damage buildup, and then I'm going to go with blasters afterwards and get some finishing knockout options. But 
I, I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I think he's probably gonna need the axe a little bit. And I think now Vam comes nice. in with a double weapon throw and knocks Lopez out. It's one stock all, it's even here. How's Lopez gonna respond? I was gonna say, Vem is doing a really good job of putting on a lot of damage with Katoys, but when it actually comes to closing, that was the one thing I didn't want to see Vem actually figure out, and that edge mm -hmm. was a really nice way to be able to do it. So if you can get some more stuff like that going, that'd be crazy, but Vem, okay, good with Punish on that D-Light. How do you make it back onto the stage? Jump, just jumping. I think he just jumped right back on. Lopez kind of mm -hmm. respected him well enough to like, hey, he's gonna be aggressive, and Vem's like, no, I'm not. Tricks on you. And now, as soon as he comes back to that platform, he did recovery the wrong way, allowing for... Oh! Lopez is going to do a dare option. But then, you know, is kind of going crazy here. Lopez with the weapon throw and now has the axe. He might have what he needs to go and win this, but he needs to get the knockout option. Neutral light might be a good option. Another down light might work. Neutral light. Yep, that's it. But right now, Femtem Killing, you need a way to be able to land. You are sweating. And now, hammer on hand. This is the weapon that gets you those KOs. You take Lopez. You put them off stage. I can't believe the GCD light didn't connect. The end light didn't KO either. Vem taking the sweet old time, making it back onto the stage here. Being patient. The Ooh. down air comes out, and that's not enough to do it, AJ. It isn't, but it's all down to the final hit between both these players. Will Vem 3 0 Lopez? Will Lopez go and make it go into game number four? The down light comes in, but it doesn't knock out. And we're seeing these players go back and forth, whipping back and forth. Look at them whip, and they're just trying to land something. I don't like my Lopez lands and knocks out. And we're going to game number four in a nail biter game number three situation there. And that was an insanely, insanely close matchup between these guys. So what's the takeaway? Axe Delight needs to be buffed. Okay. That's 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 what everybody I'm sure is thinking after watching that because I was uh, like, yeah, Lopez definitely deserves to be able to KO off the top. Everybody, please start spamming the Bro Holidays with them. Uh, uh, no, it's a, a, a little bit a little bit more for this on a deal. I don't think it'd be. I, don't, I wouldn't What's say spam, but you know, I I, I, I think, think be, uh, <laughs> politely. <laughs> <laughs> politely ask is a good way of doing that there's also the brawlhalla discord where you guys can give feedback as well but i mean overall i mean vem did very well i mean it just came down to this, that final hit you know and you know if you're vem you you gotta win this next game if you don't want to go into a game five situation but lopez is feeling really comfortable with that axe and i think he's using those blasters as an old reliable uh mindset of you know, hey, I don't, I have an old reliable weapon that I know how to use very well if I don't do well with that. Oh, at the moment though, Lopez, look at that d -Light. Once again, Vem 10 Kilo able to get the neutral light into the good cover. Coming back down with the side of weapon toss, stomp, side and Vem 10 Kilo wants that stock. Looking for the downer and then able to get the recovery into the weapon toss. All of that started from the humble weapon toss. That's how he got that opening. That was insane. Yeah, now we got you know you got lopez on second stock i mean those platforms are messing with lopez I and mean, them's been able to kind of adjust his play style to use his platforms a little bit more neutral light comes in i mean lopez would probably go over to the axe but he's willing to go with the blasters a little bit more because he's just so more comfortable with them and those platforms are making him feel a little bit off it looks like and we're seeing lopez come in with that very very nice uh blaster ground pound and Such i think lopez yeah, lopez throws away the axe as if he doesn't want to like use it anymore. Okay, what's gonna happen here? Then 10 kilo finally picking up the guitars, able to get the neutral. Light. Lopez finding a neutral light of his own. Neutral light, not able to connect the NSIG off of it. That's a nice way to punish some ill dodges in place who dodges downwards. Nice recovery from them too, a step ahead of Lopez. And you know, Lopez is using his platforms to his advantage. Lopez keeps on getting stuck on that second platform right above him and nice. then just comes in through the platform with the recovery and now we got lopez down to his final stock and this is what them wants them hunted that down them from across the stage weapon toss got in there and now all of a sudden look at the damage lead that vim 10 kilo has katar is on hand you get the neutral lead, not able to get the jump lead okay one neutral light lopez double chase dodge in but not able to get any significant follow-ups and vim 10 kilo wanted to go for a hail mary ground pound yeah, and, and Vem definitely trying to knock out the fan fra favorite of the event out in, in pools here. And he's doing very well so far. But Lopez, 
you know, has to do something with that axe. That axe is what got him the win last game and made it even. Now he's got to do something oh, no. with it. Like, is it going to be enough to be able to make things even? And he's got to knock him out here or else it's, yeah, it's probably going to be in favor of them. You have to knock him out now. You have to knock him out now, yeah. but it's just not going to happen. You eat the D-Light Sider, you use up your dodge, you could cover over the stage, and you eat another Sider. Lopez barely hanging onto this stock, continuously deprived of a weapon on the absolute last leg, and Venten Kilo is looking to close this out. Wants a stomp, wants a neutral, wants a Sider. Lopez not able to connect that D-Light, and as you know, if you, as Blasters, with D-Light, and somebody's in the air, and they're ready behind you, they're crossing you up with a dodge, it's basically checkmate. You you have put yourself in so much lag and so much recovery frames. Vem 10 Kilo taking full advantage of it and taking Lopez out of the event. Yeah, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Vem goes ahead. And